Hey everyone, it's Finola Howard and this is Ask Finola How and it is episode, what is it? Episode 36 of Ask Finola How and it is a beautiful, beautiful, glorious day here in sunny Dunmore East. So I've had my swim this morning, it was really calm and I got to do longer distances than I would normally do so it's really nice. But let me get stuck in. So again, episode 36 of Ask Finola How. And today's question was, is actually a follow on question from last week's great question, which was about running a free workshop and uh, trying to get sign ups for that workshop. Now, what's happening in this one is a follow up question from another person who was watching that um, Ask Finola How episode last week. And their question is this. When you do a free webinar or a workshop, how do you get them to convert to a paid offering? I've done stuff like this before and it hasn't led to clients. Is there more I need to do? Okay, brilliant question and something that we're asked about a lot. And um, let me start with these kind of thoughts for you. So you start by having a free workshop and then you put all of your effort into having this free workshop and delivering the best free workshop possible, whether it's a webinar or an in-person workshop or whatever it is. And then it's how do you get initiate that conversion process? How do you get them to convert into clients? This is the question. So it's great. So a few things for you to think about here today. And the first one is actually, I would actually start with conversion in mind. Too often, um, when people think about marketing, because there's so many aspects to marketing that you can get very fragmented in how you approach your marketing and you can focus on drilling down into one specific area, like you might drill down into how you use Instagram, how to do reels, how to do Twitter, how to do an email, but really to make it most successful for you, to make your marketing great, you need to build on this very strong foundation that is very, very connected. This is a cornerstone of how we work with the Get Strategic program, that you build a strong foundation so that everything connects in everything that you do. So when you're thinking about doing a free workshop, and, it, and remember, this is, happens so often that all of the energy goes into the free workshop and then there's nothing left for that conversion piece. So start with conversion in mind, okay? Have it in your mind that I've got to make sure that all of this connects it's not enough to just show up and go, hey, look at me, I'm great. It's actually you've got to give value at each point and show them why they should progress. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. So first point, start with conversion in mind, okay? And then you say to me, well, how do I do that, Fiona? <laughs> so my answer to this is align. So there's something that we do in the Get Strategic program, which is called Align the Product Journey. And what we want to do is I think always not of products as individual moments, but as connected moments on a customer journey. So we're trying to build a product journey that directly aligns with our customer's journey, aligns with their pain points of how you can help them solve their pain points. So everything must actually flow one into the next. So you will choose your workshop, your free workshop or webinar, because it directly aligns with the product you're trying to sell. Everything makes sense. And you're showing your customer, you know, you're doing this piece by piece. It's this idea of permission-based marketing, which is that you give a little and they give in return. So they gave in return, it was an email or they showed up to your workshop. And then it's, you give a little bit more in exchange for something else. So you're always getting permission to go to the next obvious step. So when you are thinking about your whole strategy for conversion, you're thinking about what do I give here, your free workshop, and they gave an email, and then it's what's next, what's the next piece that I'm solving for them. Like don't try to flip your thinking more away from sales and more closer to solving their pain point. What's the next step to solve? And it's easier to ask for the sale when you're always in service, always. You're always trying to solve their pain point. So build this customer journey, sorry, build this product journey that directly aligns with helping them find answers, helping them solve problems, okay? So 
We started with conversion in mind and then we went, how do I do that? I align my whole offering, not just one product, and that includes lead magnets and all the rest of it. I align my products with what they need step by step, okay? The next thing I would say to you is, when you are running your workshop, plan within the slide deck, plan within it of how to actually go from this uh, free gift to people to this language that, because often what happens in slides is that what we want to do is we want to build a bridge between the free offering, the free content and the paid offering. But, and always if we think of the longer journey, we will find a language that actually helps trip nicely into this sales piece, that it flows naturally, that, the, it, that again, it is the most obvious step. So there has to be this bridge that connects between free and paid, not this sudden jump. So think like that. Think again, take this viewpoint that you are in service again, and you'll pull them into the next stage. You'll pull them in because you're helping them find an answer. And if you're always thinking, I want to help them find an answer, this is one piece of the puzzle. So in order to come to the next piece of the puzzle, I would like to work one-to-one -one with you, or, but it's, it's showing them the next obvious step. And part of that process, which is my next point to you is, you don't just, you know, put all effort into that whole free thing and then just slot into this kind of uh, speak that is just like uh, very kind of sales focused and not connected to how you speak. It has to flow naturally as you would speak, okay? So what you're wanting to do is find this bridge that shows them the next step and you're using a language that says, oh, this is the next answer or this is the next piece of the puzzle that I need to take. And if you have a mindset, here's a trick also, is assume that these are people who want to pay because they want to find answers. So if in your mind, you know that there are people in the room who actually want to pay you because they actually want to find an answer to their problem, then it'll flow easier from you. So assume it is in place. And then, then there's like joy in telling them this is what happens next. There becomes joy in conversion because you get to help them and they get to stop searching for the answer. That's the powerful thing. That's the gift that you give. They don't have to look anymore. You've helped them find the answer to their problem. All they have to do is meet with you or sign up for whatever it is that you have on offer. Okay, so the other thing that I want to say to you here is not everybody will buy, okay? That's actually okay. So you may have solved a problem for somebody and it was enough that you gave them at that point. Also, there may be people in the room that are not uh, the right fit for what you want to sell them next, but they do have value here. So when we talked about, I think we talked about it last week, I can't remember, but we talked about the sales funnel and that there are valuable people at each point in your sales funnel. So if people came to your event or came to your workshop and loved it and got value from it, you can follow up with them and ask them to maybe give you a written testimonial or a video testimonial for the next time that you run this workshop. So we should, when we crack some part of our whole marketing campaign or marketing strategy, repeat what works. So. It makes it even better if you have testimonials for something that worked. So even if they didn't buy, they have value to give you much as you gave them value. They have the value of giving you a testimonial for the next time you run this workshop or webinar or event or whatever it is. So appreciate that value and make sure to do it fast. Uh, make sure to follow up fast on this because when you follow up fast, it'll be fresh in their minds. And when it's fresh in their minds, they will have greater clarity about what they got out of this event and they'll be more passionate about it because they'll be really happy they went. So they'll give you a much more live testimonial, you know, a live testimonial. Okay, so make sure that you appreciate everyone who comes. They have value and you've given value. So this is a good thing. Okay. Oh yeah, so my last thing for you, because I was just checking my notes there, my last thing for you, which is really, really critical and most people fall down on, is this idea of um, 
follow-up emails. So follow-up emails, whether it was to a webinar or to a live event. So for the first, so four or five emails you need to do to follow up because otherwise you leave, and you've heard this before, you leave money on the table if you don't follow up. So have it in your mind. And again, it's always about this flow. What's the next obvious step? Like guide them through it, break it down. So the first email that you will send is if it was something that's uh, online, then you can actually do a recording. You send them the recording. And on that recording page that they go to visit, make sure there's a, that they can actually buy your next stage from that recording itself. The other thing is if it's um, from a live event, you don't have a recording, but you can do a recap. So recap some of the key deliverables from that. So that's one email. You have three or four others to do. And remember, one key point in each email subsequently. So do think about what is the next obvious step, the next obvious step, the next obvious step. Show that the transformation that can happen if they go to the next stage with you. Um, have it make sense. Let me see if there's anything else I wanted to do. Oh yeah, one really good tip for you is to give them something to do some action that they can take within 24 hours because that actually brings your teaching to life, your workshop to life for them. And it means that it proves to them, oh, this works. And if this works, well, maybe what she does next or what he does next will also work. So there are my thoughts for you today. I hope you found them useful. So this has been Ask Finola How, episode 36. And the question was, when you do a free webinar or workshop, how do you get them to convert to a paid offering? Okay, I hope this helped you. And if you have a question that you would like to ask me in our next Ask Finola How series, please DM me, private message me. And maybe you might like to come on live with me and we can actually have a really good conversation about the question that you have in your business. Looking forward to it. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. See you next week.